Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Uh, Tribunal specifically, but right now we're actually in Morrowind. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's so good to meet you. Got a little frog in my throat. Welcome I had an excellent friend. morning. I feel as though uh, I you're should curious. know you. I'm sure you are. Welcome, friend. I feel as though I should know you. So yeah, uh, I'm at House uh, Indoris, I think. Indoris Manor. Wow. I've got some pretty sweet digs here. I like it. What an unexpected yeah, this is the... <clears throat> pardon me. What this is the uh, shit that you get for Please go ahead. completing that one thing. I had a good morning. I made some... Uh, I made myself some breakfast. And then I made like three loaves of bread. I doubled the recipe, although I really didn't need to do that. And, like, I just have so much fucking bread now. I have, like, five loaves of bread in my house. My too much gene activated, and I made way, way too much bread. But, you know what? That's okay. I'm fine with that. And as I was getting here, I ready to record, I got a call. And, you know, in my phone, people have their own custom phone numbers. And so I hear E1M1 from Doom. And I'm like, oh, that's somebody I don't know. Interesting. And it's from Account Services. And I get a guy who I was, like, completely convinced was that, like, squash from Dirty Tales. He was like, Greetings. I am calling to try to confirm that you are Nicole. Uh, can you verify your name for me? Can you, is she there? Can I talk to her? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm Nicole. He was like, <laughs> he was just like, great. I'm just trying to confirm some things to make sure that we can. He asked about like account services and shit, and I was like, you see, a uh, minor issue. I moved to this forest in Ireland in 1970, and I haven't used any money since then. And like, I don't know what the fuck. This is a this wondrous guy. encounter. Welcome. But like, to hear that and just keep going, it must be good. You know, it must be real, real good. Because, like, okay, can you just confirm your date of birth I for me? <laughs> I was, <laughs> this is when I started to lose it. <laughs> because ah, I was like, fortune. yeah, I was born in 1840. And, and I broke out into laughter. And the wildest part Are is that he was still there. He was like, uh-huh. Can you say the month and day Hail now? Friend. It's like, yeah, I was born in 1840, and I was born like. with nine arms. Would be a privilege and to that, that was when I that was when I uh, was laughing too hard, and I had to hang up on him. If I could have held on to it, he would have just kept, he would have kept eating out of my hands. But human frailty is always the source of consternation in all lands, so that's where we are. It's so speak good freely, to meet friend. You. Uh, give me a more hold, thank you. I don't even remember what I was doing. Uh, I wiggled a piece out of the shield. So yeah, that's my morning. The bread I made is very good. It's a lot better than the bread I made the first time I tried making bread. Um, or the second time, for that matter. Um, though I will say... It was... Uh, I'm sorry. say it's very yeasty bread. Sorry, I'm trying to read. One moment. Alright, sorry, back. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to go back here. So this thing right here that I'm in is actually called the Royal Palace. Justice never sleeps. Now, I don't know where I'm going in here, but 
I'm gonna find out. Emperor, King, and Joseph. Yeah, it's a very like acidic bread kind of. Um, I think there's just too much yeast in it. It might also be a th wait. Yeah, that says Halseth's chambers. Am I just gonna meet the king? Talk all his you Majesty want. Commands. Doesn't bother me. Well, his bodyguards. That's okay. Mon God damn it, not again. Sorry. That's actually my alarm. Don't quite know why I haven't turned it off yet, considering how much it actually bugs me. But hey. Who is to say? Okay, let's try this side. Guards quarters. And again, guards quarters. Right here. The Imperial Cult. The fact that they call Justice it a cult just makes me uncomfortable. Like, I don't care that you can have cults that aren't bad. Just, you say cult, and I'm like, uh-huh. Justice never sleeps. And then I call my friends to help me fight this cult, because I wouldn't call the cops. I'm an American, and that's just asking for trouble. Mourn Hall, city of the city of magic. Emperor, <laughs> king, and justice. Emperor, King, and Justice. See, I'm really hoping that I didn't, like, inhale yeast when I was making bread, because that's definitely going to germinate my nose. Oh. We are pleased to see you, It's the king. That's not a yeast on this side. Your wounds are great. This is pointless. Ooh, he's a good stuff. See, I feel like they learn from their mistake. We are pleased to see you, Sarah. With um Vivek, who sits in a room. <laughs> ah, someone got me to parallel. Wow, yeah. That's okay. You're the one Tinius has been telling us about. You should have brought the information to us directly. You may be of use. We understand you, you had a slight inconvenience. It appears we were given misinformation. The Queen Mother has spoken of you as well. We have various sources throughout Vardenfell that you're paid well, that are paid well to provide us with information. Sometimes it proves to be incorrect. One of our informants suggested you could pose a threat to the monarchy. Can't be allowed. Never easy for one to assume the throne, especially after the unfortunate set of circumstances that led to our beloved King Lathan's death. There are those who would seek to profit from the events, to take the opportunity and create unrest among the people. There are those even who would wish to see us dead. Does that surprise you? Even now, there are those who would have uh, see our head on a pike. What better way to achieve one's goals than have others to remove those that oppose you? You have some understanding of this. In fact, we've been told against the pl of a plot against the throne. Possible assassination plot. I would like more information. I don't want to compromise the safety of my guards or informant, so I think you'll be suitable. You should be an informant of mine and a horror club, the Wingguar. It's in Guard's Reach. He's an orc. Shouldn't be hard to pick out. Ask him about the uncle's form. He'll know what it means. Protect me. Furthermore, Ragtong and Dark Brotherhood, they have their purpose in the moment. You know, of course, Queen Baron Zaya, the Queen Mother of uh, Mournhold, our royal mother. We are pleased to see you, Sarah. Where is she? Apparently, um... Oh, there's a door back here. Neat oh. Damn it. Oh. Who are we in there? Wow, yeah. Is you want strange something? Times, Now's my the friend. time to talk. It's kind of crazy that, like, yeah, you can just go and see Baron Zaya. Like, this is totally new to me as of uh, Sky Baby. I'm Baron Zaya. Were you confused about that? Forward to the Blade of Nerevar, I've heard rumors of the Nerevarian returning. Could it be you? I wonder. If what Amalexi says is true and all the pieces of the blade are in Mournhold, I have a few suggestions for you. Halsa's champion, Karad, carries a blade of ancient Dormer design. Perhaps you could learn more from him. It would be difficult to get information out of him. A dangerous man, but he could be a powerful ally. Nito Brito. Queen Berenzia. I don't know if it's Berenzia or Berenzia. to see you, Sarah. Karad says nothing.
I met him years ago, a deaf and dumb child wandering the streets of Wayrest. The boy actually had the audacity to try to rob my stepsister, Elisana. I marveled at his courage and took him into my employ. When a dog has been beaten, Pitch Blend, it'll lick the hand of one who feeds it, even the most meager of scraps. Now he's my most loyal servant, and one of my most deadly. I wish for you to fight my champion. That's correct. I've come to know you a bit. I believe you can be of some use, but the plans require someone of great strength or wit. Perhaps both. Time to come here to prove this to me. You will return here tomorrow and duel Karen. If you're defeated, we'll discuss my plans for you. Okay. I thought I was already doing something for you, but I guess I was mistaken. Kings, man. Don't ask about how that went there. Don't worry about it. The weird block. Yeah, making bread's fun. I hope to do it with uh, more of my friends. And maybe to have a less yeasty uh, composition. Look at this place. God's grant you justice. Because I've had some things where, like... Justice never sleeps. Because fr the first bread that I made was, like, really hard. Uh, like... It was like a thick sourdough, but like it was just edible by a couple of days afterwards. It was just too crunchy and hard to chew. This better be good. Oh, you're here now, huh? <coughs> <coughs> you know, something might have burned in my house. That would be rather annoying. Yes, sir. Salad sentence one meal. Shells the game. What do you want? Uh, tell me about your uncle's farm. I don't have an uncle, and I don't know you. Better not to talk to you about that. <coughs> what? You, <coughs> dude. I'm standing right here. Back grow Sean. I have an uncle. What? Oh, I need to raise his disposition. Uh, okay. I get it. Code words, whatever. Here's what you should know. Our king's paranoid. I know, I know. Treason to think that sort of stuff, but it's true. Keeps thinking someone's out to get him. Man had me checking into a different conspiracy every week for the last month. I keep telling him, you're king, you're gonna have enemies. Does he listen? Yeah. This time there might be something to it. I found disturbing information. My sources tell me there's a plot, but not against the king. What I've been able to gather, a tent made on the queen's mother's life. I'm not sure who'd want to target her. From what I know, she has no enemies, but that's Probably what my sources nothing. tell me. I've spent two weeks in Mournhold, wowzers. Right. Now, as far as I know, this is like firmly. Courtyard goes to. I think this way is it? Imperial Cult. He should be here by now. Reception. Reception. Yes. I get so many people who are like, Monhold, City of Light, City of Magic. Really think that's the case, but um, 
We are pleased to see you, Sarah. Let me see your plot. Here you go. I expected you would find as much. Other sources of mine indicate the same thing and that the attempt will be made tomorrow night. Mother must protect at all costs. I do not wish to tip my hand. Here's how we will protect her. Being wise to station more guards, as it would alert the killers to our knowledge. But I did catch them in the act. One of our royal guards could be involved in the attempt, so they will be kept occupied elsewhere. Stay in the antechamber behind, outside our mother's chambers tomorrow evening. Deal with these assassins when they arrive. Close the door behind you and hide behind the screen so as not to alert them to your presence. In the meantime, find out whatever else you can. Okay. All right. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. <laughs> yes, the Nine and the Empire. All right, Burns is over here. <coughs> uh, what do you think about this plot to murder you? Do what you must. I'm not concerned. That's funny. These are strange times, my friend. The people are frightened. Quickly. Uh, yep. Okay. No sense in leaving the door open if we're waiting on an assassination. Now, he said the following night, didn't he? Tomorrow night. Well, I'll wait here just in case. Just as I guess now is a good time to go fight Carol or whatever. You're an odd fellow, you know. Finest fighter I've ever known, as you'll soon learn. Well, when attacking in this game is just clicking your mouse a whole lot, I think it's really going to be magical artifacts that make up that difference, fam. No offense. It's kind of funny the, sting the king is just standing around. Pardon me, I almost just said the king is just... The sting is just handing around. Because more Morrowind is always good. And there's obviously more production value put into this than maybe even the main quest itself. Obviously, we haven't found anything like... There haven't been any cutscenes. You creatures are all the same. Notice it's 10 p.m. again. One moment. All right, check the wiki. Turns out you actually have to face him here, and that it was I was writing at the wrong time for uh, Varenzia. Anyway, come to find my champion. Ah, you've come to meet Carrot in battle. I mentioned that Carrot's never been defeated. Perhaps I had a fair fight. Uh, use whatever weapons or skills at your disposal. I wish you luck. At least one of you will need it. None are to interfere, and you will begin on my you, command. Sarah. Uh. Motherfucker. So yeah, doing this here means nothing. 
Let's go here. Justice never sleeps. City of Mine. The Nine and the Empire. Seven. Port back here tomorrow. Okay. So let's hit. Uh, how about now? How about now? Nine in the afternoon. Really? Oh, maybe I've got to refresh the area. Yeah, there he is. So do I... Now, if I'm correct about how this, and I am, every swing makes me stronger and him weaker. Hold, I'm beaten. You're the better warrior. You know, should speak with my liege. We are pleased to see you. Enough! I've seen you find my champion, though I find it hard to imagine how you succeeded. I did not believe anyone could beat Garrod, but you have shown me otherwise, and he speaks. There are depths to you, Galena Pitchman, that I will fathom in time. For now, you have proven yourself to me. Cool. Huh. Interesting, I guess. That guy who couldn't speak wasn't actually mute. It was a character flaw. What? Wait outside Berenzi's chambers. Uh, cool. We're all... Oh. Hey, guys. here just an adamantium sword all these are unenchanted they sent better guys against me they've also put the lights out my protector it seems you're able to take care of this ridiculous plot you know in the book that's been read about you i've heard that you fucked is that the case because i really want to find out um Oh, here we go. I'm impressed. You none have defeated Karad. I didn't expect you to be the first. You continue to surprise me. You've proven your worth as well as my loyalty. Take this as a token of my faith and our friendship. It was my father's ceremonial dagger and I place it in your possession. Don't disgrace his memory. We discuss the plans. As I'm certain you know, Mornhold is one of the seats of power of the tribunal. The goddess Almalexia resides here in her temple surrounded by the high ordinators. I have no great love for Almalexia, her ordinators, or the tribunal of which she's a part. In light of recent events, I believe it's time to gather more information about them. The attack on Mornhold was as unexpected to me as it was destructive to the city. And I make it my business to remain forewarned of this sort of event. Many believe the attacking creatures to be Dwemer constructs, but we know that not the case. Creatures are beyond anything dreamt of by the dwarves, creatures that would take the power of a god to create. I want you to learn more about it. I believe the only person who might shed more light on it is Almalexi herself. All indications are the creatures must be the constructs of Sothasil, and Almalexi is likely to have information on him. I wish you to speak to her, learn what she knows about the creatures, and report to me. There is no reason for the goddess to suspect you, and I may be allied. Use that to your advantage. Do not approach me again until you have learned all that you can. Uh, the plot? It must be stopped. 
Uh, we were able to hold off the assassins. Interesting. Perhaps the threat was not as great as it seemed. We commend you. Take this as a show of our appreciation. We're impressed with your efforts. When you're ready, speak to me about further service to your king. Ah, uh, yes. Plans for you. Related to recent events. Okay. We're all caught up then. So I guess this is just like the other half of the main quest. Shield and fortify... Or no, this is... Fortify short blade, fortify endurance, and reflex. And then you gave me the collar. How's this collar? Sneak, security, and speed. Ooh. Um, what am I supposed to do? I'm Alexia, this matter. Hmm. Oh, cool. The split is here. Okay. A show of power. End of times cult. Or is it? Helsus champion. Okay, cool. As it happens, I'm done on that quest line, and I just need to go back to working on that other thing. I've just got to find my way back upstairs to Helseth and see if I can find out. Because I totally forgot that Baron Zaya even told me that Karad carries a Dwemer blade. Emperor, King, and Justice. That is of the era. Emperor, King, that I and described. Justice, citizen. Dude. I almost just used console More commands to not. set his health to zero Save to teach you. him a lesson. Save It'd be pretty funny. Got to be a quicker way to get here. Don't take this job lightly. I'm looking for something else. Blade, 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 blade. We are pleased to see you, Sarah. What may Karad do for you, mighty one? Oh, cool. You can just talk. He's the blade. When I was a child, my father gave me this weapon. He told me as long as I had it, no one would defeat me in battle until the rightful owner came to claim it. I know that you're the one he spoke. I give it to you freely. May it serve you as it is served to me. So, does this count as a weapon? In a sense, it does. It's like a kopesh. Damage isn't amazing, but that's all right. Uh, let's go talk to the lady supersized bitch about uh, the fact that we have all three blade parts. That's cool, right? Yeah, yep. What may I do for you, my child? Uh, pieces of the blade. A nearby craftsman. Jesus, come on. I guess that big old forgeman might help. That would make sense, but I've already talked to him. 
typically I would imagine that the way that it works is that you only talk to everyone once in a quest line unless you like it's explicit that you return to them. Oh, you have money, don't you? Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. Ooh, I can actually almost carry that. Uh, take this off of my hands, if you please. Oh, I'm over encumbered. You don't think. Forty five hammers. That'll work. Uh, forge the blade. Got some interesting pieces. I could work with this. Make the best blade I've ever seen. Not that I figured you'd know a die katana from a butter knife. Uh, try me, bitch. Come back in two days and I'll have your blade. Now leave me a city place. custom armor. Well, shit, I guess I'm just gonna dick around. having a collection of these things. Why? I couldn't tell you. I mean, it's not as though I'll have any chance of ever breaking anything ever again. Because I already had a massive, massive collection of these. Need custom armor. armor. I'm the one you want. Suppose you've already finished, right? Here's your blade. Bush asked, don't, don't know why it doesn't burn. I'm a smith, not an enchanter. You want dwarven enchantments on this thing? Talk to a dwemer. True flame. I know, they're all gone. They're dead. But look, I've heard rumors of a dwarven dwemer mystic. Radek Sternthrums, who lived in Bams Amshin. He's long gone, but maybe some of his writings still exist. If you find any of them, I'll see what I can do. So, this is the Blade of Nerevar. Pretty silly indeed. Huh? Um. <laughs> Does anyone think it's a little bit convenient that, like, all of this shit happened to be, like, in the same city? Like, I know that it's because Bam's Amshant. I know that it's more than a little because they couldn't, like, render a huge area like they did with the other ones. Okay. Do, boop, 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 do. Here we go. Shrine of Norandur is where I am heading. Big damage. Hall of Wales, Passage of Wisp. This is a certainly fun and happy place to, to be. Rex, that sounds like the place to go if I'm looking for a guy who was named Radic. Cool.
Radix Forge. Won't you horge? Wouldn't it be funny if this worked? I get the feeling that's probably not the case though. Where's my long blade sitting? It's at 78. So, uh, did I leave this door open? Oh. Holy shit. I mean, my brain is full of fuck right now. At first I was going to be like, doesn't this compromise the, the, status of Jaeger and Bagarn as the last living Dwemer. I'm looking at a ghost here. And we, in fact, already have seen Dwemer ghosts. What are you doing here? Leave an old spirit to his haunts. Want to talk to a Dwemer mystic? I'm no mystic when I was alive. It wasn't when I was alive either. I'm a soldier, kid, plain and simple. I made weapons for my troops, no secret there, but I'm no mystic. But you say you want to add fire to that flame. Well, that's all you want to do. You don't need a mystic. Well. I can take care of that. You'll need Pyrrhal Tar. Used to have some around here, but that was a long time ago. Find some in the caves of Norendur. Citadel of Mindur. Old ruin far beneath Bam's Amshind. I swear, no one is happy with a simple boy that cleaves bone. Always need the special effects. Deep, deep cave. Old Dajic ruin. Full Dunmer worshipping those beasts. I say kill them all. Used to be a good spot for all sorts of resources, though. That was when there were any of us left that needed them. You can find the place at the cave and through the passage of the walker. Take care down there, youngster. No telling what you may run into. Might discover a new way to die. That'd be something. You should be able to find some pyrrole tar, though, then bring it back to me. Wow. Because... Yagrum yeah, Bagarn is kind of like... I mean, let's be honest. He is gross. He's melting and dying of the worst disease ever known to anyone. Pass it to the walker. Here it is. Um, crawl through a second time. cool to see the Dwemer in any capacity, of course. Yep, these are definitely Daedra carvings. A little bit of asset reuse from the... Wow, that's so cool! From the main game, but there's so much new here that I actually don't mind. This looks rad on its own. I feel like they made this DLC and they were like, wait, it has to be how long? Like, this is now our second trip to this Dwarven settlement. And it's not like we're returning for any particular reason. It's because it just so happens it's the same place, you know? Oh, because it's a mundane weapon. Ectoplasm, perfect. And a Dremora. Not bad, but it is heavy. Where were you packing there? Ebony staff? Whatever. So 
Little Vendor. Neat. This is cool. I'm glad I'm doing this. This is a cool DLC. Though I do say, like, it's not that it feels rushed. I think something different is the case. the tribunal experience of a whole bunch of damage for not a whole lot of reason. Get your hands out, Galena. Of course, it's not that I have to kill them all. I just really want to. being a fat boomer about like all oh, these kids they want cool shit on their weapon but like there's a bunch of things in this in this island in this area on Morrowind and in Mournhold and on Solstheim that just don't take damage unless you have fucking magic on your sword it's this whole thing you see Having an enchanted sword is kind of a tactical necessity. Ra Radar, big garn, or whatever your name was. I'm I'm forgetting on purpose because I'm being offensive. Eat shit, Dwemer Boomer. Get a good little nap here. Based on the fact that I, I've been waiting for hours and hours, it looks like there isn't uh, any Dark Brotherhood attacks anymore, which I guess makes sense. Oh yeah, apparently I missed like a massive amount of... Oh, it's in his pocket. That's weird, but sure. Basilica of Divine Whispers, that's kind of cool. That's... Whoa! At first I was like, oh, it's the tribunal, but there's Shigorath. And there's like way more than three in here. Ladizura, Natch. Probably Boethia. He's using a weapon. That's pretty standard for Boethia. This might be more like Ball. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know who these guys are. I don't know who all of them are, at least. That's super cool. It's water, right? Sure is. Man. 
You know, Shiggy does not need to have that much drip, but he does. He does it for us. And for the cheese. Or so I've been told. Man, also, I kind of want to talk about this. Most of the stuff on here is the is the queer ass. Like, see how much extra shit there is on my character now because I'm wearing that queer ass? Pog. Extra pog. How did I? There we go. I made a slightly better enchantment, but it's still not a constant effect enchantment. Uh, constant effect enchantments require you to kill at least a golden saint. Which is, uh... Woof. However, in this game, and this is just straight busted, can I just say, you can soul trap your own summon victims. I don't know that victim is the right word. But you can summon a Dramora. Typically a very high level summoning spell, or conjuration as it's called in the Elder Scrolls. And unlike in Skyrim, you can fucking soul trap it and get that soul. And like, you can then have an infinite supply of free souls, of free, like, huge souls in fact. Which is just fucking crazy, can I just say? Ooh, I got a level. I know I'm under un un Jesus. I know I'm over encumbered, Todd. I'm just trying to get the good attack. Jesus. There. Forty-three. All right. Right. The grand stare, it says, huh? <laughs> Didn't stop your own death, though. You fuel. It looks like that hole is clogged, so I guess I'm not getting through there. I wonder what they call this place the Grand Stair. Anyway. um, It looks like there's only one door in or out, so... I came in here hoping for a... Uh, uh, court shut back to the guy. That was a right or left path in here as well. Damn it, he had reflect up. Don't do this to me. Oh, 
time I read this, I think it says Amulet of Viscosity, and I'm like, ah, yes. Amulet that makes you gooey. There you go. That's what the amulet does, you see. Just makes you all gloppy and floppy. Isn't that delicious? Ooh. I'm somewhat reminded of, like, early Legend of Zelda. Because there's this whole fucking thing in early Zelda where, like, the Master Sword, right? It's this super perfect god blade that was crafted by the hands of several goddesses, and, like, it's just the best damn thing ever. But, like, I can throw a couple of things on there, you know? Spruce it up a little bit. A little more glaze on there. It just kind of cracks me up, because, like, the Triforce is, like, the most important thing in Zelda. And the Master Sword immediately follows it. But in the early games, like, they hadn't figured out the lore as much. So, like, just a couple of guys in a shed or, like, a big old giant can make a sword better than the Master Sword. Or, like, they can upgrade it. Crazy shit. Ah, that's the stuff. Here, I'll do this. That's a sword. Not a bad looking blade, actually. Good luck to you. Now leave this old dwarf alone. Go! So now we have the true beast. And you can see that it even emits light, which is just the dopest shit. Just gotta get back to here. So yeah, this combined with the Indoril set was what I wore in my uh, in the videos that I toured more with. Because again, the idea was that I would just be narrow You know, th I do that already, like often when I play Morrowind because I love it. A little too much. Honestly, that's not a unique weapon, so let's just burn Need it. Need custom armor. I'm the one you want. And then let's... In here somewhere. Perfect. Perfect. There are many creatures beyond the cities. Good hunting. Cool. Um. All right. I should return to Almalexia. What up, girl? Come. Bathe in the light of my mercy. The blade is reforged. Our time has almost arrived. There is but one obstacle that stands in our way, though it pains me to leave it. So the sill. I cannot count the times I have fought by the magician's side. It was he who stood with me the day I fought in Mornhold and banished Merun's Dagon to the depths of oblivion. It was so the sill who was able to delve the mysteries of Kaganrak's tools and raise me to my rightful station. You know, say what you will about Vivek, but at least he's not... Oh yeah, I was supposed to become a god. You know? Dickhead. The Tinker has become unstable. Once so the so was like we are, the Lord Vivek and I. He spent time among the mortals, instructing them, counseling them, protecting them from harm. He may have loved them more than any of us, though I know not why. It has been many years since any have seen the sorcerer, though. Many more since he took initiates into his service. I believe he grows weary of moral imperfections and retired to the clockwork city where he reshapes life, and some say the very world into an image he finds pleasing. His lair is as puzzling as the mind of the sorcerer himself. Ever moving and changing, its labors and gears responding to its master's will alone. It is w here he performs his profane experiments, aided by magic and tainted by madness. I have suspected for some time that Sothasil had entered into Sheagorath's realm. His, uh... 
The visits had been more and more infrequent and punctuated by violent fits of anger. He began to speak of the fall of the tribunal and return of the old gods, but so the Scylla is not a seer, he is a maker. He shapes the here and now, while I have only been privy, well, only I have been privy as to what is to become. I know this, he is no longer the man he once was. He's completely mad. It was his creations, these fabricants that attacked my city. This once great man is a danger to Mournhold and all of Morrowind. He must be stopped, Glena Pitchblend. I believe it's your calling to stop Sothasil's mad scheming and kill your second god. I do not know that he can be reasoned with, Galena Pitchblend, but it's possible. If it cannot be, you must end his life. Though the idea saddens me, it is best for Morrowind, and it is best for him as well. You have the power to do this. The true flame can kill a god, wielded by one of noble intent. Steal yourself, Galena Pitchblend, and do what must be done. I will send you to the Clockwork City now, if you are prepared. Good luck, Nerevarine. I need a little time. Uh, good place to stop, right? I've been Alfred, this has been Tribunal. Plot be thickening, and we're heading to the final boss. So, next episode might be the last episode of Tribunal. Way shorter than main, Mainland Morrowind. I guess that makes sense, though. Um, but yeah, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Thank you for coming.